wild video has now sparked an investigation in Maynard. Look at this, that car spinning into the shot and then you're gonna see a guy jump out of the car there he is and run away. So here's the thing, police say that was a stolen car and police say the person behind the wheel may be tied to an organized group of car thieves. NBC 10's Oscar Margain, live for us in Maynard this morning. Oscar, I understand you spoke to the police chief moments ago. What's the chief saying about this? The chief says that he's working with two other towns to try to investigate the theft of at least seven vehicles, two of which were stolen from this lot. Now that car you saw in that video, right over here was recovered yesterday. You can see the damage to the front of this sedan. That'll happen after it collided with a parked car down on Main Street as the driver was trying to evade police. <laughs> The dramatic crash early Wednesday morning, all on video. Sparks flying after the silver Toyota Avalon hits a parked car, then spins out of control, with the driver jumping out before it comes to a full stop, then runs away. Police seconds behind him. We, we get in bed, and we're like sleeping, and then just like, out of nowhere, just, come back. The crash waking up neighbors on Main Street rushing to the scene right after police. We can't pursue somebody if it's a nonviolent offense. Maynard Police Chief Michael Noble says a crew of between 8 to 10 people arrived in Maynard Tuesday night with cars stolen from Lemonster and Sudbury to steal a pickup and the silver sedan from the Brown Auto Shop. I've never seen this many stolen cars in this area. It's an organized group. They know what they're doing. They, they, they went specifically to there. They weren't just uh, driving around. Investigators eventually recovered four of the seven cars stolen, some found as far as Fitchburg and Worcester, while a RAV4 and two other vehicles stolen from Lemonster are still missing. Despite what happened, neighbors on Main Street glad the incident didn't spiral into something worse. If it was a different time of day, it would have been a disaster. If it was someone out walking their dog or something like that. And you're very thankful that it didn't, you know, wasn't as worse as it could have been. Now, the police chief says here the lesson is don't leave your keys inside of the car and make sure you locked your cars. Now, he's also asking the public for help with any information on this case. If you have any information, please contact police. Reporting live in Maynard, Oscar Margain, NBC 10 Boston. Oscar.